Oh, look at this. I have two. Look at that. Oh my God. Good morning, everyone. Whew. It's been a morning so far. So I've been, I spend a lot of my time looking for, for creeks on Google Maps. A lot of time. Hours and hours and hours. And uh, this creek in particular, I've been really looking at for a long time. I uh, wasn't real sure how easy it was going to be to get in. Um, launching is not too bad, but there's just so many laydowns and stuff in here. It just, I had to portage over, portage under, um, get out and pull the kayak a little bit, but we're here. I think there was a total of three that were pretty bad that I had to go around. I mean, look at my hands. I'm all sorts of muddy, um, cut up, you name it. But that's part of the game. That's part of the, the whole creek thing is getting out here looking um today very well i mean i still haven't got very far down this could be a dud day could get to a blockage <coughs> and really not <coughs> excuse me uh, Lee, i was breathing hard bringing that kayak around that stuff and that cold air but we're out here now let's see what we can catch uh, i'm not sure how we're going to fish we're just going to start fishing and just go from there i think i'm going to cast first just to kind of see how deep it is and things like that so let's start So many laydowns. Just having to get around them. Take some time. All right, so I'm just gonna start casting around. I really don't know what to look for. Real is all sorts of muddy. Got my gloves. Everything in here is just muddy as all can be. But that's how it goes. We're just going to dip it in. It is what it is. Just going to start casting around. So, this is a. Uh, I can dry it off. <clears throat> this is the seven foot Sam Super Sensitive. Look at the thorns on this tree. Whew. That's a bad one. <laughs> So this is the seven foot B&M Sam Super Sensitive. This is my go-to rod. I love this rod, especially for creek stuff. Um, just got two, two 16th ounce jigs on, curly tail, chartreuse, white and chartreuse, color doesn't really matter. And uh, I'm gonna kind of see how deep it is. Okay, it's not too deep. It's definitely not that deep. I broke out the live scope, y'all. This is a big river system. I mean, it's already 11 o'clock. I need to, uh, I need to get kind of dialed in pretty quick. Oh, I missed this one, guys. Sorry. Okay, so maybe jig and bobber is what they're gonna want because as soon as I switched over, nice black crappie. Okay. Might be on to something now. It's just with anything, y'all, it just takes a little bit of time to get dialed in. I see them all over there. So now I'll be able to uh, hopefully have the camera rolling. those all day long all right and that was not it was a real subtle bite let me just say that I feel like I might be casting and it might be moving too much I might just want it sitting I have to go over here this is not gonna let me fish I might actually switch over to the other kind of bobbers because well, maybe not <laughs> there's one Keeper, I think. Oh yeah, keeper. There we go. Starting to get them dialed in a little bit, I think. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. I'm keeping some fish for me today. Usually I keep some for my in-laws, but today I need some fish. 
got settled in and moved and so I want some fish to fry up. There we go. Maybe. Got a little something figured out now. Ooh, I'm already getting bit over there. My goodness. Oh, did y'all see that? Oh, yeah. They're loaded right there. Little fish. Mm, he might go though actually well, You're probably like why are you measuring that little fish, but He's too close. I love those 10 inch fish honestly All right A little further than I would like but we'll just roll with it Yeah Nice one there. Oh, that's a slab, y'all. Might be a sandy or something. No, it's not either. Monster crappie. Oh yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Big old slab. There we go. That's what I call a hog. And I'm hooked over here. <laughs> Worst time to get hooked. Okay. Another good fish. Honestly, kind of turned around. I don't really remember where I was catching them at. He is. <laughs> Can't tell how big he is, but uh, he might keep. Oh yeah, he'll keep. Another black crappie too. Nice one. Nice fish. So fun. I don't know how long they're gonna bite for, but look at all that gunk on there. <laughs> That's a tip. If y'all get gunk like this on your jig, you definitely want to take it off. It just doesn't look natural and looks weird, I think. So there's a fish jumping over there. <clears throat> Such a soft bite on that one. Jossie almost didn't even set the hook. Seems like over here is a little better. <laughs> One's already on there. It didn't even sink all the way. Another black crappie. Hmm. These black crappie are so broad across like that. I haven't used one of these bobbers in a while. Holy, it looks like some of those bites are so subtle. I'm like setting the hook on everything. Where this line's coming from? One's on there, I wasn't even looking. Bobber's just swimming off. So that's another good one. Nice one. I'm, I'm gonna stock up if I can. I mean, if I can. Just don't know when, you know, if the bite's gonna stay. Hmm. 
Let's see, maybe there's some up here too. I love casting like this too, all the way across and getting to fight them all the way back. Oh, yep, they're over there too. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my goodness, that cork went under so quick. Oh, this is so much fun. God, this is so fun. Check them, but I'm pretty sure he'll go. This is my favorite kind right here, these 10 and 11 inches. Oh, yeah, he's legal. really not understanding why this thing wants to turn so bad. Yep, I knew it. Something's swimming off with it. As soon as I grab that paddle, for some reason, that's when they bite. <laughs> letting it, I guess I'm letting it sit a little longer when that happens. Golly, so close. Check. I want to show the rig real quick too wow over right here so this is a double freaks like this when they're not on wood and you can fish this effectively and not get hung up this is just such a great way you cover two depths in the water column color doesn't matter um, and I got a little it's a slip float a little cigar one you can get these at um, Walmart Academy places like that a little uh, thread bobber stop a couple foot deep it's a real simple rig but just when you can find fish like this that are not on cover <laughs> it uh really really shines yeah real they really don't want that bobber moving a whole lot that's a nice one. Oh yeah nice black crappie that's a keeper. Really don't want that bobber moving a whole lot. All right. All right. Kind of turned sideways again, but we'll roll with it. Such nice fish. When you get dialed into them, it's such a fun way to catch these guys. It's another keeper. Good fish. No, I keep doing that and getting all this gunk on this. <laughs> Pretty nasty still, honestly, for it to be this far in the winter. But we haven't really had much of a winter. It's cold today, but it's not been the case. Bobber was just going to the side. Cookie cutter. These are just such good eaters right here. I think that's an eater. Let me check them real quick. Yep, it's an eater. Let's see. This kayak's wanting to turn again. I'm honestly so turned around, I don't know which direction is which. <clears throat> I know we had a, I had a north wind when I was uh, <clears throat> coming over here, but yeah. God, that's a nice one too.
top jig. You can see they're hitting both colors equally good. I think what it is is it's just more of um, which one the, the, the fish sees first, you know. Just count, I got 17 keeper. This is 18. I'm just going to work down this bank. This bank seems to be pretty good. I caught one over here off camera. Might just be like a general zone. Number 19. Little one. Oh, well, maybe not. Nope, he got big. I think I was swimming this way with it. Look at that. I thought that fish was little. <laughs> it's number 20. Oh, look at this. I have two. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh, that other one came off. Did y'all see that? <laughs> I had two on at once. <laughs> wow. That was pretty cool. You know what? He's actually kind of. He's kind of skinny. I'll let him go. He's kind of skinny. That was pretty cool. <laughs> so I saw a little bite at first, and then I didn't set the hook. And then I set the hook when it went under. And that's because that first one hit it, and then that second one hit it. So close. It's like they're just schooled up out there. There's a whole bunch of something out there. And it's crappie too. That's where that live scope really comes in handy. Literally just saw those fish off at a distance, especially in this clear water too. I try and get, well I guess I'm all right right here. Robert kind of fell over on that one. There might be a little smaller on that in that school. Okay, let me try and turn this yak around. 
Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at the size of that crappie. That is a two pound creek crappie right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy moly. Look at the size of that creek crappie, y'all. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. God, that's such a nice fish. My goodness, y'all. I'm actually going to let that one go. I like them a little smaller to eat personally. There we go. God, that was such a nice fish. That one was pushing two. I said two, but I was excited. It's probably not two. It's probably pretty close, though. I set the hook, and uh, it did not move. <laughs> Golly, that, that cold air this morning really is messing with me. These are the kind I prefer to eat myself. You know, 10, 11 inches to me, they're just so much better than those great big ones. Nothing wrong with keeping those if you want. It doesn't really hurt anything, I don't think, but you know, it's kind of just what you prefer. Some of the, some, I know some people will cut those big ones up into chunks and make crappie nuggets, you know. And that's good too. I think this is number 22. I'm gonna have to count here again pretty quick. But for me, those ones like I just caught are what I really, really prefer <clears throat> oh that one came off hit the bottom jig and y'all can see I have not switched colors or anything um it's just one after another <laughs> God, this one's fighting. People say crappie don't fight. But this one, oh, it's a black crappie, that's why. Those guys really fight. I'll keep that one. Leave. I'll check them here in one second. shorty Let me get back on this paddle I don't know why I just cannot get situated right
It's just every cast. I mean every cast. Little bitty one there. And this setup right here with this B and M, it's just so nice. These fish feel so not big on here. Yep, and hit it as soon as it got settled. <clears throat> Look at this one. <laughs> oh, black nose. There we go. Black nose. Let's see, is that a keeper? Yep. That's a limit, guys. All right, y'all, that's it. It's getting cold and I got a long way to go back. So this is what we caught. Limit of creek crappie right there. Um, they're out there still. Um, definitely not in many places. In this place, I'm like I said, I'm not sure how often I'll come here. It's just too, it's too rough. But we'll see. But had a great time. Jig and bobber at its finest again. Just insane amount of fish. So had a really good time. Let's get back to the truck before it gets dark. All of a sudden it clouded up and got cold, so I'm ready to go back and like I said, long ways and so if y'all would, if y'all can, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, that way you get notified every time I post a video. And uh leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Comment down below if you have any questions, I'll definitely get to them. And y'all we're getting we're through the, the meat part of the, the creek season. It's gonna start slowing down and we're gonna start getting into sandies and all that spawning so sorry y'all i think uh it's a little cold like i said so yeah so we're gonna get in the sandies and yeah i'm ready so hope y'all enjoy y'all take it easy and we'll see you in the next one oh, that's a little better one good morning everyone we are sitting in traffic um trying to go do some creek fishing again different place I've never been to again um, so we are sitting in traffic hopefully it doesn't take too much longer I've looked on the map it's not too much further um, we will see so I'm gonna go into this creek and try and go up or I guess kind of downstream I guess and see if we can uh, maybe find a few crappie in this creek so that's the plan. If we can get done with this traffic, we can get over there. So we'll see how long that takes. But yeah. Well, once we get down to the creek and get in the get in the water, then I'll come back and we'll see what we can find. Good morning everyone. It's uh crashing into the bank right now. It's warmed up quite a lot, but we're here. 
never seen this creek before in my life, but it sure looks good. Um, it's not real big at all. Water's pretty murky, but I kind of like that for, for creeks like this, especially smaller ones, you know, sometimes I push myself off. Sometimes if the water's real clear in a small creek like this, they, they won't come up in here, so. But we're gonna start jigging bobber and see if we can catch anything, I don't know, but we're gonna try. That's all we can do, so let's get started. So I caught two little fish off camera when I was coming in right by the road. I don't want to make it too obvious where I'm at. So I'm going to not put those in there. We might go back up there later. I don't know. We'll see. But let's see, not that one. I really don't know what to do, how to fish this creek. I did catch the two on Jake and Bobber, so I guess we're just going to stick with it. Just a B and M Sam Super Sensitive Seven Footer. I got this is just purple chartreuse uh, jig. Speed up from the last trip, but it'll work. And uh, we're just gonna fish around. I don't know how deep it is. I don't know where these fish set up. We're just gonna fish the whole thing, and hopefully we can come across some. Well, y'all, I'm sorry, but I goofed up on this one. It was not rolling, but it's a pretty black crappie. I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw him on the stringer. I don't know how many we'll end up with, but I'll, uh, I'll let him go if it's not too many, but that's a nice black crappie right there. Pretty black crappie. Kind of back off the spot where I caught him. Caught him right up here. So I really don't want to uh, spook him. Maybe he's got some friends. All right. It's kind of what I figured. It'd be a one and done type deal. There's, there's really no pattern to these fish that I've caught. Every one of them has been out in the open, so, I mean, that's a pattern, I guess. I don't know if they're closer in, maybe. God, I was really hoping there'd be another one or two there. I'm just going to let this fish go. I really don't think I'm going to catch enough to make it worthwhile, but... Pretty black crappie. There he goes. crappie oh it's a little one but it's a crappie i'm happy though and i was just getting ready to say this is going to pull me right into where i just caught that fish hold on back off of this a little bit now this ain't no monster fish but it's a piece to the puzzle y'all it is a piece to the puzzle Started seeing shad, and I caught one, and it was right out in the middle. So, it's definitely something to take note of. I really feel like this bin should hold some right here. It really should. black crappie I mean I will take it pretty black crappie let him go 
Just slowly putting pieces together. Another one, small one. Trying to put a little piece of something together here. I know there's some good fish in here. This bend right here is just so textbook. Yep, so they're little, but it's fun still. I know there's some bigger ones mixed in. Caught a nice one down, down that way, off camera. They want it really, well, that might be a little better one there. Maybe, a little better. Still not no big one. I'm trying to push this up a little bit. And this is what, you know, this is just scouting trip right here. This is what this is. So catching a few fish, even though they're little, I'm happy because it's confirming what I'm thinking, so. Oh, it's good already again. You never know when you're gonna get that next slab out of here. Little one's messing with it. bigger black crappie it's cool that there's both species in here too pretty fish that's a little better one Oh yeah, a little better. Pretty colors on this fish. Gold. Pretty colored fish. Thanks, bud. Just something about creek fishing, y'all. It's just so relaxing. Getting to see that bobber go under. Even if they're small. You know, I'm just happy to catch fish and be out in the outdoors, you know. Whoops. And this right here is why I was surprised that one good fish back there, I'm surprised there wasn't more around because typically this is how it is. You find one and there's a few of them around. Ooh, that's a nice one there. Nicer. This black crappie just fight, y'all. Just fight. Y'all can see I've used the same color the whole trip. The color doesn't really make a difference. You just gotta find fish that are wanting to cooperate, you know? Oh. Oh, they fight so hard, these black crappie. Little guy. Kind of fish out here in the open too because they've been kind of doing that too so I'm gonna keep them honest. Oh better fit oh a little better fish. Right out in the open just like I was saying. 
fish besides that one nice one are all about the same size. I don't know what that's about, if that's just time of year deal or, or what. I caught that nice one, so I know there's nice ones in here. A little better. Oh, about the same size, actually. They just fight, y'all. Who they fight. Maybe we can get into some bigger fish here in a bit. Find the right little hole. As soon as I cast it over there. A little bitty fish, though. That's a nicer one. Oh, that one slammed it. Oh, you would thought that one was way bigger. <laughs> Took the whole cork under. Alright y'all, that's gonna wrap it up. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'm just something get, getting out, you know, looking around new creeks. Caught some black and white crappie. Jig and bobber. Definitely be back to this creek, you know. Maybe on the right day it's full of big ones, so. You just never know. You got to get out there and look. So thanks for all the support. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And leave me a comment down below and I'll definitely get to it. So y'all take it easy and we'll catch you on the next one. Hog. Oh, it broke my line. All right, y'all. So this is a different spot, but same result. There is a ton of fish right out here. Just that easy. It's just amazing how these fish set up really like how they set up honestly <laughs> I can jig and bobber them like this one after another my arm is honestly tired <laughs> some of these are so big it's another decent one uh, pretty average size fish for today God, it's just schooled up everywhere over here Hmm, one hit it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You know, the, the live scope, I mean, I know a lot of people don't like it or this and that, but for this kind of thing, I mean, I'm not, I'm just locating them. I mean, it's, it's no different than a 2D, but it's just live, so I know they're over there, you know? Could I find them without it? Yes, of course, but it just makes it so much quicker for me. Especially on a place like this where I had trouble getting in, took time, I have limited time in here. It's just, you know, it's crucial. Just so, so valuable. I mean, just hog after hog after hog. I'm eas I've easily caught 40 keepers easily and I'm honestly just having a blast I'm already limited out I'm not keeping no more but just catching them so fun did y'all see that cork go under <laughs> just jig and bobber for me is just so fun I get so tired of uh, vertical fishing these fish so anytime I can get horizontal I really like it. That one didn't even get all the way down there and that one jumped on it. 
Oh my gosh, look at the screen. Oh, that's a Sandy. Okay, that's probably what those are. Yeah, those might be some Sandys mixed in. He's gonna mess up my jig too. Give it back. Those might have been some Sandys mixed in. wants to turn that way. That's typical with crappie, you know, they're very bunched up. That one is already on there. Was. Cork just fell over. Another nice one. I don't want it to be too repetitive, but it kind of is repetitive. Hopefully you are like me and just enjoy catching fish. Top jig on that one. Sorry, y'all. Double jig is a little difficult in the in the kayak for sure, but it's working out. So As I went for the paddle. There's a nice one. Oh, it broke my line. Oh, I probably should have retired. I was just thinking that myself. <laughs> Let me go ahead and retie. All right, y'all. Just caught this one off camera. Look at the size of that one. I'm going to measure this one just for curiosity's sake.
13 incher man that thing looked bigger than that hmm. on the fall that fish is crazy look at that fish all right y'all so I'm gonna kind of go over some some good tips right here for if you see this in the creek in any creek stop and fish it okay so see this uh let me get this so it doesn't get wet this bluff wall right here so this just goes straight down it's a cliff in the water and so imagine this it's going to be like a ledge like this so these crappie will just go up and down even though there's no brush or there might be a little brush here and there they will just hold on this ledge and uh it's a really really good spot so if you if you're in a creek not every creek has this, but if you're in a creek and you see this, definitely fish it. Stop and fish it because you could catch a limit right here. So, all right, let's see what we can catch right here. I'm uh, I'm just using my Diamond Series B&M 10 foot and just a simple. It's got leaves all on it, but a simple. Uh, I'll show you that later. A uh, Camel Joe hand tie, 16th ounce. So, let's drop in here and see if we can catch a fish or two. There's one. Nice one too. Sweet. Yeah guys, these uh these vertical uh walls like this are just dangerous for crappie in the creeks because because what happens is is this is a steep bank right here, so this doesn't stop. It doesn't stop over the it doesn't stop when it hits the water it keeps going so it's pretty deep right here and I will say you know it's deeper relative to the rest of the creek I wouldn't just say it's deep it can be though I'm just gonna kind of drift down through here as much as I can with all this junk on the water because they're just going to run up and down this ledge. There you go, crappie. Drop, dropping it down that ledge. I hate it when they do that. In the kayak especially, because you just get soaking wet. Hey bud, chill out. Take it easy. Another keeper. I was just dropping it down that ledge. He bit it. I could tell that one was a crappie. He hit it a little harder. Oh, that was a crappie. No doubt that was a crappie. Let's see if he comes back. Bit it again. Might be a little one. Oh my goodness. That can't be a yell. That feels like a crappie bite. Got him. Nice one. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way that's a. Uh oh. We are in trouble here, y'all. Well, still with that here in a second. Nice fish. There we go. This is the, the Camo Joe jig right here. It's like white chartreuse, 16th ounce. It uh really, really good quality jig. Y'all be sure to check him out. He's always linked down below. Um, when I use his jigs, I always link them down there. So, pretty white crappie. Yeah, I was thinking that's weird. Y'all see how many times I, I missed that fish? I missed him several times. And finally, he just got after it. Oh, there he is. 
little one there. Oh, I might not keep. I'm gonna have to check and see how many I got, cause pretty close to a limit, I think. No, he's a short one. Actually, he might keep. I've been catching some good sized fish today, so. Yeah, he's legal. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna count these guys here real quick. All right, this is pretty fun though on this D and M. Haven't got to fish with this a whole lot yet. Haven't had it very long. Another one. Oh yeah, look at that hog. Sweet. It's funny, all white crappie. Usually these this kind of thing, if there's black crappie in here, and there are black crappie in here, if they're in here then they uh they tend to uh gravitate toward this rock. Guys, we've had a good day today. Oh no. Dang it. That one didn't get it all the way. My goodness, he hit it though. Oh no, I think I might have hooked him. He might not come back. He hit it so hard, that's why I was like really set the hook on him. Yeah, I think I hooked him for a second might not come back. Oh, he did come back. Look at that. There we go. So I've already got my limit now, you guys. Um, I'm just throwing them back at this point. A nice fish. He'd probably keep, too. Let him go. I was gonna say, I think I bumped one. I, felt, I think I felt bumped one. Let's see if I did. Mosquito over here. Yep, I did bump one. It's another keeper. Another keeper fish. Nice. About the same as that last one, 10 inch. We're gonna get out in that wind a little bit. Yep. Oh, got him. Hit on the fall. That fish is crazy, look at that fish. <laughs> yeah, another keeper. I like snagged him. He was hooked a little bit on the outside of the mouth. I think that's something. Another keeper. Thanks, man. There's a lot of fish right here. These, as I said, guys, these, these bluffs just magnets yeah, I'm not sure about this 10 footer in this kayak it's kind of hard to handle another keeper fish I'll let him go right by the bluff there we go I think I moved back just a little bit I guess it don't matter it's another keeper <laughs> I'm 
Come on, bud, settle down. I'm gonna let you go. Camo Joe jig is really getting these fish to hammer it. Another one. Little one. He's barely hooked, he might pop off. Now I got him bottom hooked pretty good. I ain't caught a whole lot of little ones today, but that's one of them. Yeah, right out from this limb, something, there's a school of them right here. I think I bumped one again. Yep. Oh, that's a nice one there. Yeah, that one got it. Up. Need a little bit of slack if I can get it. I think I can. There we go. Nice fish. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, fishing some bluff. Uh, you know, fishing a bluff. Um, no electronics, y'all. Nothing besides this camera and my phone. No electronics. Um, just with the 10 foot diamond series being in check them out they'll be linked down below again if you see a bluff like this in your creek don't pass it up y'all see how many fish we caught here so definitely highly recommend it and um yeah really enjoyed today hope y'all did too and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't hit that notification bell you know guys i, I really try my best to cater to everyone no electronics, bank videos, kayak, boat, live scope, no live scope. I try to cater to everyone. So if y'all could, you know, subscribe, that helps me out. And just know that no matter what you like, I'll put something out. Like, I'll put something out that you enjoy, no matter what you like. Let me say it that way. So, again, thanks for all the support. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take it easy.